Okay, so we're going to start all the way back in the antiquity. So what is the antiquity? The antiquity is a word that we use to talk about, uh, in general, just kind of ancient times. Okay, so we're talking about, well, the, the most common definition is uh, what came before the Middle Ages. So the Middle Ages uh, started around 500 and went all the way up till uh, the fall of Rome, which was about 1500. So 500 to 1500 was the Middle Ages. So we're talking about the stuff that happened before that. Um, so I guess 500 back to year zero, back to uh, maybe around 400 BC or BCE, however you like to call that. So that's the antiquity. It's in general a really long time ago. That's what we think about. We think about a really long time ago um, when we're talking about antiquity. Now, we don't have a lot of evidence of what was happening back then, right? There weren't people writing down, um, uh, you know, stories and music, um, you know, like there wasn't a notation system. There were some sort of notation systems. People were writing some stuff down. We don't really know if we currently know how to read it correctly. You know, there's some debate about that. So there's not a lot of evidence for what this music actually sounded like. What we do have mu evidence for is that music was being made back then. Now, if you think about it, music's been being made probably since the earliest humans. There were people beating sticks on rocks and probably figuring out how to sing and that singing was enjoyable. So I think it's very safe to say that music existed, you know, as long as uh, human beings have existed. However, we don't know what it was and we don't know anything about it. Um, so this going back to this antiquity thing is kind of the earliest traces we have of music. So there's very little, if any, notation. It primarily survived at that time through an oral tradition. So. Uh, you know, you would explain how to do something to your kids. They would explain how to do it to their kids. It was basically a game of telephone. So we get into, so in order to, to study this, and we're not going to spend a ton of time on it, but we get into uh, a kind of archaeology, right? And there is, this is actually really fascinating. I found the other day, I don't know what I was doing, but I stumbled across someone, a person, and his job title, I think he had a university position, and his job title was musical archaeologist, meaning he was an archaeologist uh, who is someone who looks for evidence of the past by, you know, digging things up and finding relics and things like that. But he was specifically looking for traces of music uh, in antiquity. Fascinating. Fasc I would. I don't know this person. I just saw that title somewhere and thought, wow, I'm so glad that title exists. But we have things like this, like what, what I have here on the screen. These are ancient flutes that have been found. Clearly, they're flutes, right? They were designed to be played as flutes. They have finger holes. Um, they have, they're hollow, so you can blow in them and make different pitches, right? Now, what those pitches are are going to be very different than what we would expect pitches to be. Uh, our pitch system is probably very different than what they were using back then. So what these musical archaeologists do is they look for um, remains of musical instruments. They also look for visual images of musicians and instruments. That's another clue we can get about what was happening at this time. Um, drawings of musicians and music making. There are some writings about music and musicians that exist from this time. And there is a very, very small amount of notation. So notation can exist back from this time, uh, but it's very complicated and hard to understand. The theory goes that whatever, whenever we try to interpret it, we're going to be uh, really heavily influenced by music that we know. So there's not a good way for us to be sure we're getting it right. I've read a few different things about this. But the moral of the story is music existed way, way, way back in history, but we know very little about what it 
actually sounded like, right? Um, we have evidence that it was happening because we have instruments like this, we have some writings, we have drawings, um, but it's nearly impossible for us to really understand what it sounded like. 